who is committed to covering crime in your neighborhood. In Hendersonville, police are desperately looking for video that shows a violent confrontation between rival high school students. As Andy Cordan reports, the students apparently fired airsoft weapons at one another during that fight, badly injuring at least one student. This all goes down Saturday night in this Hendersonville parking lot. It's here that Hendersonville police tell me that as many as eight car loads full of teenagers from Hendersonville High School and Beach High School end up here. There's a major confrontation. It includes shooting at one another with airsoft weapons. Because this got way out of hand, people got hurt, and there was no need for it. Police say it begins with spirit squad members from both Hendersonville High and Beach High confronting one another. They're smack talking each other back and forth and evidently they have uh, amassed a collection of airsoft type weapons that they uh, see fit to shoot at each other in public with. Despite the name, uh, those weapons can be very powerful. They can dent metal and they certainly could put an eye out. So were they shooting at each other? Absolutely, they're shooting at each other as if it's some kind of game. According to investigators, the confrontation moves to the parking lot behind the bleachers at Hendersonville High School. That's where things turn violent. There, they exchanged airsoft rounds and Hendersonville was able to box in one of the beach cars. And from that point, when people start getting out and they're firing airsoft rounds at each other, it turned to physical violence. Next thing you know, we got punching, kicking, stomping, and hitting with guns. One person, at least, was struck with one of these airsoft guns, and it did cause a severe laceration. I think these kids, who are 16 to 18 years old, have no realization of the severity of what has just occurred. And we're here to tell them this is completely unacceptable. So far, two teenagers from Hendersonville have been charged in connection with this crime. They're charged with robbery, assault, and vandalism. I'm told that this investigation is quite active. In Hendersonville, Andy Cordan, News 2. Now, the football game is Friday. Police say there will be security on hand. The Sumner County School District says they are working with law enforcement to investigate this fight.